Now, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. says Washington will announce new sanctions against Russian companies with links to the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad. Nikki Haley's comments on Sunday came after the U.S., the U.K. and France carried out precision airstrikes on targets in Syria for a suspected chemical weapons attack that happened earlier this month. Noah Adam with the details. Tensions between Russia and the West have reached a point that is very reminiscent of the Cold War. The U.S. and Russia again traded barbs at the U.N. Security Council over the weekend, with Russia's U.N. ambassador condemning the joint airstrikes on Syrian chemical weapons facilities as a violation of international law. He said they dealt a blow to the political settlement in the divided Middle Eastern nation. Syria and its ally, Russia, deny any poison gas attack took place, but Western nations say it did. The U.S. envoy to the U.N., however, did not back down, hinting at more use of force to future Syrian chemical attacks. I spoke to the president this morning, and he said if the Syrian regime uses this poisonous gas again, the United States is locked and loaded. She also told a CBS interview that new sanctions against Russian companies with links to the Assad regime would be announced on Monday. She indicated they would be aimed at sending a message to Russia, which she said has blocked six attempts by the UN Security Council to make it easier to investigate the use of chemical weapons. As the pressure mounts on Moscow, President Putin warned that further Western attacks on Syria would bring chaos to world affairs. In a statement, the Kremlin said Putin and his Iranian counterpart, Hussein Rouhani, another Assad ally, agreed the Western strikes had damaged the chances of achieving a political resolution in the seven-year Syria conflict. Noadam, Adirang News.